is before starting your exam on exam day ensure you have taken a comfort break before you start you are only permitted to take a 5 minutes bathroom break once you have started your exam set your work area up as required remove any unauthorized item from your work area the tip for the first step is if you start your exam more than 30 minutes before or 50 minutes after your appointment time your exam will not get launched so the first step has an important point number 1 that is you should not start your exam 30 minutes before or 15 minutes after your exam time step 2 is the actual start of your acca remote exam process access the exam planner using your login details from my acca or acca global website step 3 choose book on exam tab after login into your acca account click on the book an exam tab as you can see on the screen the next step is to choose the launch exam button you have to click on the launch exam button as you can see on the screen the next step is step 5 that is click on the exam you want to launch that is you have to click on book computer based exams you have to click on this button after which you will be directed to the list of exams that you have booked for acc remote exam the next step is click on the begin exam button to start the check in process of your exam here it will start the check in process of your acc remote exams you have to click on this begin exam button as you can see on the screen the tip is if you begin your exam button isn't available then it is too early that you are starting your check in process that is the check in process is only possible if 30 minutes before and 50 minutes after your appointment time so make sure you start your exam as specified by the acca remote exam next step is step number 7 that is you will have be prompted to download and run the exam delivery and remote invigilation software before permitting the system test so as you can see on the screen you have to run a remote invigilation software to check your performance of the system so download and run the onview invigilation software click on the copy access code which is needed for the next step as you can see on the screen you have to click on the copy access code button to copy the access code that you can see on the screen after that the next step is step number 8 provided you copied the code when prompted in the step 7 your access will be automatically populated on the screen you will now be asked to enter your phone number after putting the code access code as you have copied in the step 7 you have to copy it in the box number 1 as you can see on the screen on the box number 2 you have to enter your valid 10 digit mobile number the important tip is please ensure your phone number is correctly entered because this is the number the invigilator will try to contact you on should you encounter any issue during the exam so the important point number 2 that is make sure you have provided a correct and active mobile number the next step in step number 9 is now you have now you will be prompted to start the check in process where first you must confirm you have a age of more than 18 years if you are under age of 18 your parents will be have to presented for id validation you will have to inform about this process ahead of the exam day the next step is step number 
the system check will run and a green tick will appear next to each requirement as it is verified as you can see on the screen the three system checks will be done namely microphone test internet speed test and webcam test once all the three steps are confirmed a green tick will appear on all the three requirements as you can see on the screen the tip is you should have already completed the system check before making the booking for your exam this system check verifies the same requirement as it's important that the system check is run on the same pc and laptop we will issue on exam day and in the location that you will be in the, on the exam day so the important point number 3 is that you should have completed your system check before booking your exams so make sure you have completed your system checks and the next important point number 4 is use the same system on which you have done your system check that is you be strict to use the same system for the exam on the exam day where you have completed your system check before step number 11 next you will be prompted to take some pictures of yourself your id and your environment this is you can do using your mobile phone or a url given on the screen the tip is you can use your mobile phone to do this or you can use the webcam please follow the on screen instructions as you can see on the screen you have to follow the on screen instructions given on the screen to upload the photos from your phone choose to have a click via send to you via text message or choose to try to url on your mobile phone as you can see on the screen the step number 1 is select access method the two access methods are there text message or type url into mobile phone you have to select respectively and continue with the on screen instructions next step is now you will be prompted to take all the required photographs starting with taking a picture of yourself as you can see on the screen you have to take pictures of yourself which should be a clear photo make sure your face is within a wall make sure your face is well lit and in focus your face must match your face in your id which will be presented in the next step next step is take a picture of your id proof you have to take the picture of your id proof as you can see on the screen you have to select the identification that is your identity id card type and the country from where you are giving the exam acceptable form of id are passport driving license and the national id card as provided by the nation we will be asked to choose a type of id and country issue at this stage which you can see on screen at this point the next is the information captured in step 11 and 12 will be verified using artificial intelligence so after uploading the clear photo of your id you have to click on the next button as you can see on the screen here the next step is step number 14 that take up four pictures of your workforce that is front side behind left and right so as you can see on the screen you have to first take a front side photo then behind side photo left side and right side you have to take these four photo of your workforce from where you are giving the exam the tip is when taking the picture of your front of your workforce work area be sure your calculator can be clearly seen if it is not the vigilator may ask for you to hold it up in the webcam for further inspection so the important point number 5 is calculator should be visible correctly while taking the photo of your workforce the next step is the check in process is almost completed you will be presented with a reminder of some 
rules and asked to check a box to confirm your understanding your exam day we revoke if any of the rules are broken so you have to accept all the rules and regulations as given by the acca now the step number 16 is you will be then reminded to close all the applications except for finder and on view so as you can see on the screen you have to close all the applications except finder or on view so having applications running in the background prevent your exam from running so it is important that you should close and minimize all the windows so important point number 6 is here make sure that you all the windows are closed before starting your exam so step number 17 is the checking process is now completed and all the details and photographs submitted will be verified ahead of your exam launching so this can be take up to 15 minutes so to verify all these documents it will take 15 minutes and if you are waiting any longer more than 15 minutes please contact us immediately so if you are still waiting more than 15 minutes for the verification you should immediately contact to acc so the step 18 is your exam will be launched by the invigilator and you will be started by reading the pre exam screens during your exam if you require help from the invigilator please use the chat function to get connected as you can see on the screen a chat function will be available on top of the screen as you can see here you have to use that touch function for getting solved all the queries that you have during your exam next step is when the exam end time is reached the exam will be automatically end and a proctor will close your exam window so the screen as you can see on the screen that will appear after the exam is completed saying thank you for taking an online proctored exam and with on view so the tips are please do not end the exam before the exam time is reached if you do not end the exam in early or leave the seat during the exam you will be reported to acca for invigilation which may result in your result being withheld so the important point number 7 do not end your exam before the end of the exam time is reached so these are all the steps that you have to follow to launch your acca remote exams thank you